Hey, how y'all doing? Um, Cincinnati Bengal fans, what's going on? And um, I'm Anthony. Another Bengals got destroyed again. Two times this year, real big blowouts against Kansas City and against New Orleans. They barely beat Tampa Bay when they had them blowing out. This is the same old Cincinnati Bengals under Marvin Lewis. Can never beat the good teams. Marvin Lewis can never win on TV. Can never beat the good teams. He'll get lucky one year and beat one good team. And that'll be about it. They're, they're the same Bengals under Marvin Lewis for years. This is AJ Green's last year. I said in another video, I don't think he's coming back. After this year, AJ Green is gone. Bengals need to rebuild. Might as well just go back to the losing season. Mike Brown is the worst owner in the NFL. We, I, I wish we could get rid of him. We can. If a new owner comes in, so I want the Bengal fans to protest. Do not leave Cincinnati. I like the name. I like the name of the team. I like the colors. I don't want them going to anywhere else but in Cincinnati. And I live in Jersey City, New Jersey. So I'm saying this, and I'm a Bengal fan. I, I, I live in New Jersey. I have to go to work soon, so that's why I'm doing this video real quick. But they don't look good. Marvin Lewis overstayed his welcome. I had him going 10 to 6. I still think they could go 10 to 6. They probably could get this Baltimore game after they lose they lost like shit this week. Maybe they lose. This is the end for them. Everybody's gonna be fired, but but Marvin Lewis. My brother's like, he's fired after this. No, no. Mike Brown loves Marvin Lewis. Mike Brown, he loves the guy. He's not firing the guy. He even did a video talking about Marvin Lewis said he's gonna win the win the Super Bowl in the steam room. Sound kind of gay, but you know, he told me, Steven, oh, we're gonna win a championship. You mean the Super Bowl? Yeah. Well, he made this whole big story. He's not going to win. He's not going to win. We're stuck with Marvin Lewis. Sit down, Andy Dalton. Start the new quarterback. If you feel like the Bengals ain't gonna go nowhere, let that new quarterback get some reps. Let him understand what is going on. Andy Dalton is not the answer. He's not that good. Sit him down. You let A.J. McCutcheon go when P I told you A.J. McCutcheon wasn't that good, but fuck it, he was better than Andy Dalton. That was it. You didn't want to give A.J. A, a catching a chance, so you traded him away. Now you put on number six, put number six in. Fuck it. I don't know his name real, too well because I, I didn't keep up because I, I don't even watch the NFL channel no more. I don't even have the package. I got Facebook and all my Facebook bingo family, and that's why I call them, even though you know we have our split differences, our policies and religion, when it comes to Cincinnati, we all feel the same. Want a new owner? We asked for a new coach. You kept Marvin Lewis. I did so many videos about a new owner. I want a new owner. Well, Bengal fans, you got to stop buying Bengal gear. I'm sorry. Don't do it. Don't go to the stadium. You tell the, you yell out the stadium that we want change. You protest. We want change. Nothing violent. Nothing angry. A, a, a protest to make the team different. That's all I ask. No violence, no fighting, no, no, no politics, no religion stuff, no nothing. We have to do it like that. We want change. It's time for you to get rid of Marvin Lewis. It's time for you to spend money. It's time for you to do a lot of things. Because you're not doing none of the things we asked for. You're just doing to save money in your pocket. And if you're going to keep doing this, well, you know what, Bengal fans? Let him know. If you're going to do this... If you're not going to change, we're not going to give you any money. That means don't go to the stadiums, don't go to anything until you change this team and get this team better. If your father did it, why can't you? Why you didn't learn from your father? I don't understand. Your father was a great man. Your father understood football. And why you don't? You come from a football family. It makes no sense to me how you come from a football family that runs the same business and don't know shit. I don't get it. You taught your daughter nothing. Son's wrong my eye. Come, why is that guy getting against? I'm getting sick, so. You taught your daughter nothing. I don't think your daughter's going to be a good co um, owner. Your daughter is going to make the same mistakes you make and didn't learn anything from it. And I hope she really learns all the mistakes that you made not to do. I hope she really does. Bengal fans don't deserve this shit. We haven't beat any good teams Ever since Marvin Lewis, probably if I if I say we beat any good teams, I say six out of twenty-four. Since Marvin Lewis been been there, the good teams we beat, they can't beat the Texans in the, any time they played them. Probably once. Every time the Bengals on TV, they got blown out. 
every time the Bengals is playing a good team, as you notice, the Bengals get blown out. They haven't beat Pittsburgh. The only time I think they're gonna beat Pittsburgh is the last last game of this of, of the year. They play Pittsburgh at the end, and they probably win that game because Pittsburgh is gonna sit all their starters down. It's horrible. This is horrible. The running backs don't look good. The running backs probably ran over 100 yards probably twice or three times this whole season. Our line looked like shit. Sit Andy Dalton down. Let the other guy start. If we feel like we ain't going nowhere, go with the rookie. Go with the bench warmer. Let him get some reps. Who cares? Andy Dalton don't look any better. You're going to kill fire everybody else but Marvin Lewis. Bengal fans, he's not going nowhere. They're going to fire everybody else but Marvin Lewis. I promise you. They're going to fire everybody else but Marvin Lewis. I'm Anthony. I know my Bengal family, we have our splitting ways, uh, different ways between religion and, you know, politics or whatever. But when it comes to Cincinnati, if you all agree, this ain't right. We don't deserve this shit. I stopped buying Bengal gears because of this man and because of this owner. I want change. Might as well give me a female coach. If we're going to, like, shit, maybe she'll fucking yell at the guys. Because I'm going to tell you right now, no man likes to be yelled at by a female. Try something new. Maybe she'll bring something new. Maybe she'll fucking open the doors more. Or a new coach from the NFL that wants a starting job. Something new. What we have right now is not working. He overstayed his welcome and is not good. And I'm an upset Bengal fan, as you see. It's going to get worse from here. It's going to get worse from here. So, somebody said we're back in the 90s. We are. But I still, I, because the schedule is not that hard, they probably, those teams that struggling just like they were, the Bengals could take advantage of those teams. But do I see them go 5-11? and 11? No. I'm Anthony. I don't know what's going to happen next. They don't look good. People want Marvin was fired. They're all over my Facebook and Instagram. And we, I want a new coach. I, I want a new coach. I want a new owner. I want a new organization. And I still want them to stay in Cincinnati. So protests, no violence, no nothing. It's time to protest a change. And for the Cincinnati Bengals, it's time to protest a change. Don't rob any stores. Do the right thing. No violence. Don't start with the cops. Don't start with the owner. Don't threaten him or nothing. You tell him we want change or we're not coming to the games anymore. You have to give us change. It's time.